Today we're going to be solving equations. This is my favorite thing to do. So here for number one, we're looking for the value of x. Notice x plus 7 equals 13. So I'm going to subtract 7 from both sides and I get x is equal to 6. This is a very simple one step equation. And if you go back and substitute, x is equal to 6, which means 6 plus 7 does equal 13, so you know you are correct. In question number 2, x, which basically means some number, divided by 4 has to equal 6. Another way that you can see this written is x over 4 is equal to 6. Because you're dividing by 4, the opposite operation is to multiply. So you would multiply by 4 to both sides. And then you get x is equal to 24. And again, if I go back and I substitute for x, 24 divided by 4 is in fact 6. So I know that I have done this correctly. Number 3, 5 times some number x is equal to 105. So the opposite of multiplying is dividing. I will divide both sides by 5. You always divide by the number next to the variable, in, this, in which case this is 5 right now. So x is going to equal to 21. And once again, if I go ahead and I substitute 5 times 21, that's going to give me 105. In question number 4, we're subtracting. So x minus 16 equals 48. The opposite of subtracting is to add. So if I add 16 to both sides, I get x is equal to 64. And once again, you can go ahead and check. If you go ahead and substitute it, 64 minus 16 is in fact, this becomes 14, this is a 5, it's in fact 48. Now we have fractions, number 5. I know that's everyone's favorite. This is the part where my students usually skip because they don't like fractions. But it's okay. It's the same exact thing. You are subtracting one fourth. So the opposite is going to be to add one fourth to both sides. So let's go ahead and add one fourth. And if you need help with fractions, I do have another video where I go over adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing fractions. So you can go ahead and watch that to help you refresh your memory. So here we have to figure out what is the least common denominator. The least common denominator is the least common multiple. 4 does go into 12, so that means that the least common denominator is going to be 12. 4 becomes 12 because I multiply by 3. Whatever you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top. So this is the same as 3 over 12. Now that they have the same denominator, you add the numbers at the top, the numerator, 1 plus 3 is 4, the denominator stays the same. And then we can reduce the fraction by asking ourselves, what number are both of these divisible by? And they're both divisible by 4, so this answer is 1 third. So x is equal to 1 third. For number 6, x divided by 10 is equal to 7. The opposite of division is multiplication. And since I'm dividing by 10, the opposite is to multiply by 10. We're going to multiply by 10, and that cancels it out on the left side of the equal sign. So x is going to equal 270. And sure enough, if we substitute, then 70 divided by 10 is 7. Number 7, 1 half x equals 4 thirds. More fractions. All right, so we have choices. Um, one of the things that we can do is rewrite this left-hand side as x over 2 equals 4 thirds. And then you multiply by 2 on both sides. So that cancels it on the left. And you get x is equal to 2 is the same as 2 over 1. When you multiply, you're going to get 8 over 3. So the answer is 8 thirds. Let's say you don't want to work with it that way. Your other choice is to basically just work with it as a fraction from the get-go. And then you are going to get rid of the 1 half. If you divide both sides by 1 half, when you divide by a half, it is the same thing as multiplying by 2 over 1. 
Why? Because when you divide fractions, you have to multiply by the reciprocal. And so the answer is 8 thirds. And this is an improper fraction, but that's fine. You can leave it like that. For question number 8, no fractions. Yay. So it's a nice, simple problem. 8 plus x is equal to 18. Subtract 8 from both sides and x is equal to 10. Notice that 8 is positive. If it were negative, it would have had a minus in the front. And so because of that, I know that it's a plus 8. And so that's why I went ahead and I subtract. And then of course, remember what I told you, you can always go back and you can substitute and 8 plus 10 is in fact 18. So you can be confident that yes, that is the correct answer. In question number nine, we have 2x is equal to 13.5. We're going to go ahead and divide by 2. So we know that x is equal to 6.75. And once again, if you take your calculator and you multiply 2 times 6.75, you'll see that you get 13.5. So I hope you found this video helpful. Remember to subscribe to my channel for more help with math so that you can say, yes, I can do math with confidence. Until next time, thanks for watching.